In Afghanistan, dozens of religious scholars gathered in the capital to condemn the depiction of the Prophet Muhammad in French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. The scholars demanded the French embassy in Kabul be closed until the weekly and France's government apologised. Islamist militants killed 12 people in an attack on Charlie Hebdo's Paris offices on January the 7th. The cover of the magazine's issue that followed the attack featured a cartoon of the Prophet Muhammad shedding a tear. In northwest Pakistan, internally displaced people complained they are facing serious hardships during the winter. The refugees in the town of Banu criticized authorities for not providing them with warm clothes and sufficient food. Nearly a million residents of North Waziristan tribal district left their homes for Banu and other areas following the launch of a major military operation there last June. In Babil province, central Iraq, provincial police commander-in-chief Riyad al kagani took journalists on a tour of an area that was retaken from Islamic State militants last October. Kagani said on January the 21st that two army regiments, one police regiment and militia volunteers were to be deployed to the Buhairat area. Buhairat is a strategic area crossed by roads and railroads connecting Baghdad with the south of the country. In Tajikistan, Industry Minister Shavkat Bubozoda said the government was considering a Chinese proposal to resume production at a Tajik chemical factory. Bubozoda told journalists in Dushanbe an interruption of Uzbekistan's natural gas supplies forced the Tajikazot plant to stop production a year ago. He said China proposes to use coal to power the factory instead. Tajikazot, once one of Central Asia's largest producers of agricultural fertilizers, was nationalized last year. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.